Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to your October reading. I feel like you need to get out of your mind. You need to take more time either connecting with people who fully understand you. It's equal exchange. They want to support you. You want to support them. And I feel like other people who you can talk to and they can fully understand and receive everything that you're saying and they can respond accordingly. So if you don't have that in your life, this would be a really good time to be working with maybe a spiritual teacher or a counselor or a coach or someone who can just help you figure out whatever is happening in your mind. Because I feel like there's maybe, like you can feel that you're getting close to these big changes that are happening. And I would say for sure, because you have the world card here. You also have judgment reverse and the ace of wands reverse. So I feel like there's this new start, but we still haven't moved through and out of eclipse season. It's starting very soon. We just had the last full moon. It was also a super moon. That was the last full moon before 20, uh, sorry, that was the last full moon before eclipse season and the last super moon of 2023. So this was a big energy supporting us to establish ourselves in new ways, which means we need to be thinking differently and we need to be behaving differently and we need to be like intentionally creating a different experience because there's something about your inner world that I feel like it's been a slow change. You feel it changing. You know, it's coming. You're still not fully there, but like for everything to catch up and to really start like embodying it and feeling like things are changing actually there's like some either behaviors that need to change some ideas that you need to just stop thinking about some conversations that you need to just stop either obsessing about or you just need to sit down and have that conversation or whatever but there's this overall energy of like you can't continue to kind of sit in the old energy and sit in the old situations and sit in the old connections and expect things to change and wait for things to change and hope that things will change if you're not taking different action. And I'm not saying like, okay, well now I'm like drinking more water. And like before I was not really drinking a lot of water. Like that's good, that's a good start. But I mean like you need to be, if you drive to work every day, like you need to go a new direction. If you consistently wear black, you need to start like wearing colors. If you are always, you know, eating at the same place for lunch or you're always going to like Starbucks, it's like you need to stop going to Starbucks and you need to start uh, trying a different cafe. Like it's, it's in the like neuro pathways that are like so comfortable, so stagnant, so set. And that's like, again, you are a fixed earth energy. So what's like really coming through strong today is this idea that like for you to rewire yourself, that takes a lot of effort and not just for you, for anyone who wants to like rewire their mind. So like, that's a beautiful thing. And this Eclipse season is going to start helping you figure out how to disengage from old behaviors, ideas, dynamics, settings, and old like routines. That's why with the South Node in Libra right now, we're, we're really seeing and learning how we relate to other people and relate to the world around us and how we show up and engage in those connections and how all of that creates a story for us and all of those stories create feelings and all of those feelings, which is emotion, energy in motion, all of that then manifests our reality. So do you understand how it's all connected? It's like our habits and behaviors create a story. That story creates an energetic emotional response, that emotion, energy in motion, attracts our external worlds, the reality, it matches that. And then that makes us feel something. And then we go back to the start. And because we feel that way, we act a certain way. And then it goes one, two, three, and it just keeps looping. So it's like, it's really easy to get stuck in that. And everyone gets stuck in that at some point in their life. But I feel like right now, there's this ace of wands this temperance and this two of cups with 
a page of coins and a four of cups. So like this four of cups, like you're actually getting bored. Like you know that there's more for you with this two of wands. You know that there's other opportunities. You know that there's other connections, other love, other uh, collaborations. You know that there's a different way for you to experience life, but there's a lot of things that are keeping you stuck and that is connected to your behaviors, your ideas, how you speak to yourself, how you talk to other people, how you limit yourself and you limit other people and how you let other people limit you. And it's like this sort of toxic cycle. Look, you've got the devil card right here. It's fucking exhausting also because these old stories, they don't support you. They don't support your next level. They don't support your next um, layer of growth. And it's like, it's fucking exhausting. And with the chariot reverse, you're going in fucking circles, babe. You're going in circles and circles and circles. And then you're thinking, why the fuck can't I get out of this loop? Well, it's because all of those things need to change. Remember, the ideas, the self-limiting beliefs, they need to go. You need to start um, changing how you eat, changing how you move, changing what you do for your, your daily practice. Maybe like your altar, clean it up, replace things. And you don't have to throw out everything, no, but it's like even your furniture I'm hearing in your room, in your um, apartment, your home, it's like just move it around. Like we need to shift the energy. Maybe there's still old, um, like the blankets or something. It's like, you know, you've kept those for the last five years. It's like change the fucking comforter. You know what I mean? And I, I like I'm not saying this trying to like insult you or like, you know, offend you. Like, that's not the point. I'm just trying to really make it clear that like when you're trying and when you're doing so much internal work to shift things in your life, you're only challenging yourself by keeping the external world the same over and over and over again, because you are seeing the external world not really change, but your internal world is changing but when it's trying to catch up your external world is like slowing it down if that makes sense so it's like i would suggest like under this eclipse energy just like reset like re-establish recreate realign yourself with new um habits people colors flavors it's like dive in and you're gonna notice that like if you go back and you you start to go back into your old habits that four of cups is saying you're not even going to enjoy it in the same way and i have a queen of cups here reverse and the judgment reverse it's like if you go back into the old stories because they're comfortable or whatever you're just gonna feel like Ugh, this doesn't fucking benefit me this doesn't make me feel good. This doesn't make me excited. Why the fuck do I continue to go back? Because it's habitual. It's stuck in your body, in your mind. It's the neural pathways that are always... Con so like, you can rewrite that. You can use this full moon energy to set the intentions about everything that you want to release and clear. We just had that full moon in Aries like a few days ago. It was the last super moon of 2023 and it was the last full moon before eclipse season. So that's really your last opportunity to write down and set the intentions for everything you wanna let go of. So I would strongly suggest if you haven't watched that workshop, you can find it on my website. The link is in my bio. It's free. You can literally pay whatever you want. It's, it's donation based. It's under 30 minutes. It's a home video. Watch it anytime. But like you need to write down everything that you want to let go of and you need to establish yourself in a new way and say, I'm also going to stand in my power and start doing these things. Make a list of everything you want to start doing and read that and review it every morning because this full moon in Aries was a focus on your identity, your main character energy showing up in a different way and writing a new story. So we need to use that energy, right? Um, this two of cups, you're making more available space for better connections, better collaborations, opportunities. But again, you can't have both, bitch. You can't hold on to the old and expect new things to show up. So this is really sort of inviting like radical change. And I feel like a lot of people are going through this right now. I don't know what specifically is happening in the sky for Taurus. Actually, you have Jupiter in Taurus, which is expanding everything. So if you dive in, you will expand all those opportunities and you will be supported with extra support because Jupiter is supporting you with these changes. But if you continue to stay stuck, you're going to feel more stuck and you're going to dive deeper into feeling more stuck and more stuck. So it's like, bitch, 
do yourself a favor, go watch the full moon workshop, watch it anytime. Actually don't, don't even close this app. Go to my profile, click on the link and watch the fucking workshop now, okay? I love you, Taurus. I will see you very soon. Send this to another Taurus if they also maybe need some help. These are free. I show up every month for you. So please support me. Share this on your Instagram story and I'll see you very soon. Okay, I love you. Ciao.